time to put your lights up. Hey guys, what's up? Darth CJ 117 here, back, and welcome to episode 2 of the Let's Play on Storm Island. So, um, in the time off screen, I just went and did this again once just so I could finish in first place because there's no point showing that again. So now we have to do one of these, uh, let's, let's do the mod rally. So what do I have? Ooh, um, one of these, I don't know which one, which one should I have? Well, I haven't upgraded them at all yet, have I? Um, oh. let's see what there is I can buy. I think I'm just going to be buying... A brand new car, my favorite rally car Dude, in the world. Yes, what's we that? are. How can I help? The Subaru WRX STI from 2011. Okay, guys, so here we are now with my upgraded Subaru WRX STI 2011. So, uh, where are we here? So let's go and do this first race. Now, I've done a little bit of tuning on it, not very much, mainly just on the gearing. Oh, before we do the actual race, we are going to go and compete in this head to head race because they get you loads of money. It's amazing how much money they get you. Oh, they, they're always hard to catch up to though, especially if they're in a group with a bunch of other ones. It's really hard to tell which one's actually the one which you get lots of money from. Ferrari GTO versus Subaru WRS. Who's gonna win? I don't know, one thing I can. I couldn't really figure out how to fix it in this car. I was trying. No. This really annoys me in races. You just start them and then you hit something, but you can't rewind it because it's so close to the start of the race. Um, but as I was saying, as we this car, it's good. Um, I did upgrade a lot first. It had over 900 horsepower. It was a bit too much. So I got rid of some of the horsepower in here. And it's now much much nicer and one thing I've noticed in this DLC as well there's lots of new foliage those new plants um, and trees as well like I found this one tree and it was massive like that was crazy yeah but with this car it's hard to actually drive in a straight line there we go once you get in the sixth gear you can drive in a straight line if I did like do some more mucking around with the gears and stuff I would be able to make it even better so then I'd be able to driving a straight line of third, which would be much better, but still that's good. So anyway, uh, we're going this way, race easy, mainly because we've been taking palm trees as well, and like, yakas or something, I think they call that, but I'm not really a tree person, and Pay attention to the difficulty I nearly actually came second then because that person was close to me. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, I got 58 grand from that. That's awesome. Nearly paying back, well, not nearly, paying back half of the money I spent on upgrading this car. Because, of course, the engine swaps and then turbos and stuff, that costs like 50 grand. And then I had to pay like 34 grand for the car itself. So, since we're uh, by this one, we may as well just do this one first. That said, that said temple climb. I'm excited. And I decided just to make it a S1, because it was S2 before, but downgrading it made it S1. So I could have put less, less power in it. Probably would be a little better, but... Oh well. This is it now. So, first race of this championship, let's go. As you can see, it's not very good off the line. Somehow I managed to keep it going straight there for a bit, though. But around the corners and once you're in sixth gear, that's great. Oh, but it's not very good at hitting trees. Am I seriously in 11th place? Dude, I need to improve the starting of this. Get a much better launch on here. Now I'm in last place. God, oh my god, no, no. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't know anymore. I, I tried fixing this car, but I couldn't. Oh, we're in sixth gear. This is it. This is it. This is 
Why do we have to turn right here? No. There was my chance. Oh god. Now I'm a 12th again. No, no, I'll turn back to so, yeah. 10. But still. So I don't know why you know Unite Ogre just decided to crash there, but he did. So now we're in 10th place. Oh! See! That always happens. And I don't like it. That one. Straight, please. Straight. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Come on. Get around the corner. There we go. That's what we want to see. Alright, keep going now. I know that I'm not going to win this, and that's what we need in all these races. Well, I don't need to win every single one, but coming to last, that's not going to help me to win them. And how ironic that I spawned right next to another race. So, Subaru, I uh, upgraded that wrong, so how about we go for the trusty Mitsubishi Evo 10? Well, I was kind of basing that off, but it was a Subaru, not a Mitsubishi, but yeah. So, can the... Yeah... I'm gonna easily win this. Oh my god. Get out the way! Oh my gosh, everybody's in the way. I'll be like... I'm half done. I'd be like half done right now if there was half cars on the tr <laughs> trace. And if I, um... Went through all the checkpoints. Yeah, got that one. This is so much better though. I think what I need to do with Subaru is just per reset the tune for the tuning to default and get like no upgrades on it and just start again, start fresh, and maybe it'll make it A class. I don't know. But so I remember on the 360 when I had from Horizon 2, I uh, made a WRX STI, same model exact same model and it, it was great. It was it was nearly better, nearly better than the um, Bugatti EV10. When I say better, it probably was better, but it was it was pretty fast as well. It went like I think I just managed to get to touch 200 miles an hour. It was with no tuning. Uh, I don't know whether I uh, I don't know how I did it, but somehow I did it. <laughs> anyway. So, what? What? I did not miss that. What? No. I got that. I just went through that. You can... Fix your game. Right now. There we go, that's the sound we want to hear. Dodge these barrels. Oh, the rain is real. I like how the trees and stuff, they look good now. It's really cool. Oh god, that's a house. Glass. There's more glass house. Oh, maybe that was not a good idea to go through there. Uh, there's more glass houses in on Storm Island because by the castle, the big castle or whatever, there is only one castle. But by the castle, when uh, the mainland could find yourself some glass houses to smash through, and now you can find on Storm Island as well. So if you're a fan of smashing glass, glass houses especially, then this is the place to go on Storm Island. Um, you know, but if you don't do the corners properly, then you're probably not going to win the race. Maybe not even a championship. Then you're going to have to do everything again. It's just because I'm in the air, so I can't turn. Maybe I've got to slow it down right. Oh, I can't look because I'm in the air. Right, there we go. 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 Get out of the way, Fiesta. Okay, maybe it doesn't need to get out of the way. Maybe it's faster than me. Oh, God. No, no, no. That didn't work out. 
Yeah, you have to angle yourself. You never know where like the road's gonna go after these big jumps though, so you usually have to do them twice before you can actually get around them properly. Because you always go off to the side and then just go for the trees. Or maybe even a fiesta is like hitting you around or something. Who knows? Oh, that was perfect. Perfect line right there. Couldn't get first place, but we could get second. 16 points. That is enough. As long as I win. Or Mr. Froffy or whatever doesn't win any of the other races, then I should be good to come first in this championship. Decent cash, decent XP, not as good as the previous race though, but yeah. So guys, um, after that race now, that is going to be the end of part two. And oh my gosh, it's so weird because the whole screen's like moving in this wind. It's so cool, and you can see all the trees moving. And I just reached club tier four, yay. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next bit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>